The toxic personality traits that poison relationships. Have you ever felt constantly drained or disrespected in a relationship? Or have you ever encountered someone who always seems to put their needs above everyone else's? Toxic personality traits refer to negative patterns of behavior that can harm our social relationships and overall well-being. These traits can range from selfishness and manipulation to a lack of empathy and controlling behavior. While we all have our flaws and make mistakes, we must recognize and address toxic personality traits in ourselves and our relationships to create healthy and fulfilling connections. And yes, I know that it can be challenging to confront toxic behavior, especially if it comes from someone we love or care about. However, addressing these traits is crucial for the health and happiness of any relationship. In this video, we will explore the most common toxic personality traits and their effects on social relationships, as well as steps we can take to deal with them. Whether you're struggling with toxic people or simply looking to improve your emotional intelligence, this discussion will surely provide valuable insights and strategies. Toxic personality traits are negative patterns of behavior that can harm our relationships and overall well-being. In this section, we will explore the most common toxic personality traits, including narcissism, manipulation, controlling behavior, lack of empathy, selfishness, and more. Narcissism. Narcissistic individuals can be tough to be around because they often prioritize their needs and desires above everything else. They may lack empathy and consideration for others and may not think twice about manipulating or exploiting people to get what they want. In addition, narcissists often crave attention and admiration, so much so that they develop attention-seeking behavior. They may also belittle or dismiss the accomplishments of others to feed their sense of superiority. These types of people may have a bloated sense of entitlement and may demand special treatment and privileges. On top of that, they may not be very understanding or considerate of others' feelings. In relationships, they may be demanding and controlling and may have a hard time compromising or collaborating. It's important to remember that narcissism exists on a spectrum, and not everyone with narcissistic traits will behave the same way or have the same level of severity. Some people may have more mild narcissistic tendencies, while others may have a full-fledged narcissistic personality disorder, which is a more serious condition that may require professional treatment. Rudeness. Rudeness is such a toxic trait that can harm relationships. It could mean in several different ways, though. Treating others with disrespect, not caring about their feelings and opinions, and talking to them in a harsh or dismissive way are just some ways that rudeness can manifest. Rude people may also be quick to criticize and judge others and may not think twice about making hurtful comments or jokes. They may also be impatient or dismissive when it comes to listening to others, and may not take the time to understand their perspectives. It's important to be aware of how our behavior affects others and to be respectful and considerate in our interactions. Otherwise, we risk damaging our relationships and creating a negative dynamic with the people around us. Manipulation. Manipulative people can be sneaky. They might use deceptive or controlling tactics to get their way and may not be upfront about their true intentions. They might also try to make others feel guilty or responsible for things that aren't their fault. Controlling behavior. People with controlling personalities can be challenging to deal with because they try to micromanage others. This kind of behavior can harm relationships and cause feelings of resentment and suppression. Lack of empathy. Sometimes, people struggle with empathy and have a hard time understanding or relating to the emotions of others, which is why it's tough for them to form deep, meaningful connections and can cause conflicts in relationships. Selfishness. Selfish people can be tough to deal with because they only care about their own needs and desires, and don't think about how their actions might affect others. Being too selfish can hurt relationships because it can make the other person feel neglected and resentful. For example, Let's say there's a group of friends planning a weekend getaway. One of the friends, we'll call her Rachel, is constantly making decisions that only benefit her and doesn't consider the needs or preferences of the other friends. She might choose a vacation destination that she wants to go to, but that isn't convenient for her other friends. This kind of selfish behavior can strain relationships and make the other friends feel unimportant and frustrated. Negativity. It's totally normal to have moments where you're feeling negative, but when negativity becomes a pattern of behavior, it can become toxic. 
And while negative self-talk seems harmless, it can become a bad habit and affect how you interact with others. Let's just say that people with negative outlooks are always pessimistic and cynical and might not be very supportive or encouraging to others. They might even end up self-sabotaging their own relationships, careers, or personal lives. Say you and your office mates are planning a fun weekend getaway. But one of them always complains and brings everyone down. Say you suggest a resort, and she complains about how bland the food they serve there. Or maybe, she would complain about the expenses even though the extra expenses are only minor. She might even whine about the transportation. It can be really draining to be around someone like that who has too much negativity, wouldn't you agree? Negativity is normal, but too much of it can be annoying, and in worst cases, it can be a contagious attitude that can spread to other people. Judgmentalness. We've all encountered people who are judgmental at some point in our lives. They may be overly critical or just unable to accept others for who they are. Judgmental people might also try to push their own beliefs and values on other people too. Why do people judge, though? There are several reasons someone might be judgmental, but it usually comes down to insecurity or a need to feel superior. Dishonesty. Honesty is pretty much the most essential thing in any healthy relationship. On the other hand, dishonesty can be toxic and damaging. People who aren't honest might not be trustworthy or reliable and might not take responsibility for their actions. That makes it hard for them to build solid and lasting relationships. Dishonesty in a relationship can take a lot of different forms. It might be lying, withholding information, or hiding things from your partner. It's damaging to a relationship because it undermines trust and can make people feel hurt, betrayed, and resentful. Argumentativeness. It's not uncommon for people to disagree or have different opinions, but when someone is constantly argumentative, it can impact a relationship. Folks who are argumentative may be quick to criticize or belittle others and may have a hard time compromising or seeing things from another perspective. Arrogance. Arrogant people are often disliked and avoided. They tend to think they're better than everyone else and may be dismissive or condescending towards others. This kind of behavior can damage relationships because it makes people feel like they're not valued or respected. Conflict avoidance. Most of us dislike conflict. But would you believe that too much conflict avoidance can actually hurt personal relationships? Conflict avoidance can be damaging to relationships because it prevents people from addressing issues and resolving them. Conflict avoidant people may be afraid of confrontation or simply may not want to hurt the other person's feelings. But as mentioned earlier, too much conflict avoidance can be counterintuitive as it leaves unresolved issues that can fester and cause resentment. The effects of toxic personality traits on relationships. Toxic traits can have a range of adverse effects on relationships. Damage to trust and communication. Toxic personality traits can damage trust and communication between people. Think about it. If someone is manipulative, they might try to deceive or mislead you to get what they want. Once discovered, it can erode trust and make it hard to communicate effectively. Similarly, if someone is controlling, they might try to dominate or micromanage your actions and decisions. This can create a lot of frustration and resentment, and make it tough to have healthy communication. A lack of empathy can make it hard for people to understand and support each other, leading to misunderstandings and conflict. And dishonesty can damage trust and make it hard to rely on each other. All of these behaviors can get in the way of building and maintaining strong, trusting relationships. Decreased intimacy and connection. Toxic people might prioritize their needs and desires above yours, making it hard for you, the receiving end, to feel valued or cared for. Manipulative behavior can create mistrust and make it hard to feel close to someone. Being controlled can make you feel suffocated and can interfere with your sense of independence. And a lack of empathy can create distance and disconnection. All of these behaviors, along with several other toxic personality traits, can make it tough to build and maintain close, intimate relationships. Decreased support and understanding. Nobody likes to be lied to, manipulated, or controlled. And that's the thing with toxic people. Once they're discovered to have these traits, it can be hard for others to trust them and rely on them for support. They might even have trouble building meaningful relationships as their toxic traits get in the way of understanding and connection. 
Negative impact on mental and emotional health. Toxic personality traits can take a toll on the mental and emotional health of those involved in a relationship. These behaviors can create a hostile and stressful dynamic, which can cause a lot of frustration, resentment, anxiety, and even depression. Because let's face it, it can be hard to feel happy or fulfilled in a relationship when you're dealing with toxic behaviors. For example, if someone is controlling, they might try to dominate or micromanage your actions and decisions. This can hurt your self-esteem and make you feel like you're not good enough. If someone lacks empathy, they might not consider your feelings or needs, which can lead to feelings of loneliness and isolation. And if someone is dishonest, it can create a lot of mistrust and insecurity, and make you feel like you're constantly on edge or worried about being deceived. All of these behaviors create a lot of stress and negative emotions and can harm your overall mental and emotional well-being. How to deal with toxic personality traits in relationships. If you're struggling to deal with difficult people, there are steps you can take to address the issue and improve the health of the relationship. Setting boundaries. Setting clear boundaries and communicating your needs and expectations in a relationship is vital. This can protect you from bad behavior and give you a sense of control over the situation. Seeking support from friends and loved ones. Having a supportive network of people you can turn to when dealing with toxic behavior can be helpful. Talk to friends and loved ones about your experiences and seek their guidance and support. Seeking professional help. If you're struggling to cope with toxic behavior on your own, it may be helpful to seek the assistance of a mental health professional. They can provide valuable insights and strategies for dealing with toxic behavior and improving relationships. Examining and addressing your own toxic traits. It is also important to look inward and examine any toxic traits you may have. Working on improving yourself and addressing any negative patterns of behavior can benefit your relationships and improve your overall well-being. Dealing with toxic personality traits in relationships can be difficult, but creating healthier and more fulfilling connections is possible. By setting boundaries, seeking support from friends and loved ones, and seeking professional help if needed, you can work towards improving your relationships and creating a healthier environment for yourself. Remember that it is also essential to look inward and address any of your toxic traits to make positive changes in your relationships. You can progress towards healthier social relationships with the right strategies and support. Do you know someone who has a toxic personality? Have you ever been in a relationship with someone with one of the toxic traits above? Share your thoughts and experiences with us. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We're rolling out tons of content about productivity, self-improvement, and motivation in the next few weeks, so stay tuned. Thanks again for watching and we hope to see you in the next video. Comment below, and let's start a conversation about identifying and dealing with these toxic traits.